Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Demon Souls on the Steam Deck using the RPCS3 emulator because the PS5 remake is not on PC yet but we can actually play the original on RPCS3 very very well so let's start with the custom configuration right click on the game then go to custom configuration Keep this like this on gpu i pushed it up to 900p because we have some gpu power to spare everything like this using vulcan right color buffers otherwise the game is a black screen audio i keep it like this i didn't touch anything else i think well i changed the driver wake up delay to 100 is this nanoseconds no i'm whatever ignore that 100 this at 60 hertz on emulator i'm going to show you the performance overlay that's the best one um for debug i chose nothing so we apply save custom configuration then we go to manage sorry right click on demon souls again manage game patches and you have a bunch of options over here aspect ratio dis disable dynamic exposure motion blur so we're going to use this to unlock the frame rate to 60, this to skip the intro videos because they are annoying. I'm going to personally disable motion blur because I don't personally like it. The rest is fine. I could do 16 by 10, but it didn't work particularly great and the UI was stretched. So we're going to focus on 16 by 9. You save and then double click on the game. And the first time you launch the game, well, you're going to have like five minutes of this screen and the CPU will be at 100%. In the meantime, let me do just that. So you'll see the CPU usage. Again, remember that RPCS3 is a very CPU heavy engine emulator, very heavy in that regard. All cores at 100%. It's compiling the cache for the shaders and it's going to and it's going to well just play the game in real time emulated on a steam deck so we skip this we load the game i'm right now in the tutorial but we're going to go through it very quickly as you can see now 60 fps with some drops there due to the big effect and here we are. So we're using 9 watts of CPU, 2 watts of GPU. And again, the first time you launch it, due to the shader compilation, you're going to have some spikes in the frame time. That's going to fix itself the more you play the game. But as you can see, we're at 16 by 9, great frame rate, some stutters here because compiling shaders, bottom left corner. Pretty normal, unfortunately. Okay, dead, reduced to atoms. But hey, looks great. We're playing at 900p because 1080p gave us some drops in the frame rate. So we are over the DEX native resolution. Instead of 800p, we have 900p, but at 16 by 9. There we get another stutter because compiling shaders. That's the only bothersome thing, I would say. Otherwise, it works fantastically well. We warp. As you can see, I'm speed running through it. Let's pretend there's no enemies. But again, the biggest annoyance, I would say, is the shader compilation. But it's way quicker than it used to be. RPCS3 in the past, man, it completely froze the game when that happened. So this is a CPU limitation from the Steam Deck, actually. I mean, it's a stutter, but it's not as bad of a stutter as it could be. Sir. 
remember which way it was. No, not that way. Okay, excuse me, sirs. I'm gonna go be defeated by the boss. But again, compiling shaders. Then you're going to repeat so many parts of levels that it's going to do it right away. Look at this. When he attacks me, there's going to be frame drops for the shader compilation. Oh, okay. Never mind. You're supposed to die here. Okay. So yeah, now that we died, I can actually... I'll show you handheld, so... You can see how much battery life we can get out of this. We're at 93% battery, but we're connected to a screen. Welcome back, now in handheld. As you can see here, we're actually below 60. And I think I just screwed up with the resolution. The GPU is working more than it should. Yeah, no. When you're in a bigger map, as you can see, it drops into the 40s, which is not a big deal. We're going to target 30 FPS because bigger maps would be more difficult. So right click on the game, manage uh, game patches, disable this one for unlocking frame rates. We keep the disable motion blur and skip intro videos. We apply, we save, right click, change custom configuration on the GPU. We are doing the 30 FPS limit. Then the resolution, we're going to crank it up a little to 900p. That should help us still having a better image. And let's get into the game again. So now it should be more of a consistent experience. 30 FPS across the board, because it's very easy to hit 30s in this game. 60s, yeah, just a little too much especially for the due to the CPU. Again, very CPU heavy application that we have over here. So let's keep ahead into the game. Now with the 30 FPS cap, as you can see, it's a flat 33.3 milliseconds. There is going to be stutter from time to time because shader compilation. But we're playing on 900p, so it looks very crisp on the Steam Deck's screen. It's always good. And we will avoid those drops into the 40s when targeting 60s. But yeah, works fantastically well. As long as you're targeting 30. I was very ambitious at the beginning, let's say. <laughs> because I thought I was going to be able to get it to 60. But that wasn't the case. Especially in bigger levels like this. That's why you test the bigger levels, not the tutorials. Yeah, even when he catches on fire, it's very, very solid. So if you don't want to wait for the PlayStation 5 remake to hit PC at some point, well, you can play the PlayStation 3 version. And again, it, it, it's better running than the an actual PlayStation 3, which is the funniest part about all this. The PS3 version drops more frames than this. But it's insane how much this emulator has advanced. It's crazy. I remember this game being... having so much audio stuttering. <laughs> now it's fantastic. Now it's fantastic, yeah. Okay, there we go. Our, the first arrows are going to fall. Come on, fall. I remember the first time I played this game, I threw myself off that that pit. Let's just say I was pissed. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, like this. Oh, I forgot to unplug this. We have, let's see how much battery life in this game. Let it reload. 
is using 30% of the GPU, but the CPU is going to be utilized quite a bit more. I don't think it's going to be four hours, maybe two and a half. If we're lucky, let's see. Remember, I'm at 89% battery. I'll keep playing in the meantime. Alright. But I'm blown away on how good the frame times are when playing at 30. And we're talking, okay, two and a half hours of battery, give or take. With 100% battery, it's probably closer to three hours, so pretty good. For being an emulated PlayStation 3 game, kind of crazy. And if you want to have slightly better battery life, consider lowering the resolution to 720p. But it'll have some jaggies. With this, it looks very crisp. So that's good. There we go. When it drops is when it's compiling shaders. So the more you play, the better the experience is going to be. Oof. We're going to drop a cannonball, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, that was a Dark Souls thing. <laughs> Oh, okay, my mistake, but as you can see, to sum up, just play it at 30, don't be like me and expect 60s, because you're going to be disappointed, have a lot of uh, stutter, and drops, drop frames, I don't know, now it feels like 15 FPS, oh, it's stabilized there, okay, so the game likes to hard lock to 15 FPS sometimes, when you're looking into the distance, I forgot that detail, but otherwise, it's fine. Feels great to play, at least so far. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did revisiting Demon Souls. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.